do you see any potential moves or any uh, specific names that stand out where you could see uh, line some movement on uh, on the futures odds? Well, yeah, there, there's two two cases I'll bring up. One is uh, we'll, we'll see Patrick Kane likely get traded to the Rangers today. Yeah. And if you see any movement mm-hmm. there, I think it's it's you know an overreaction because I think Kane. You know, the Rangers are already good, and they're already good at what Kane does. So I don't know. It makes them, you know, this sounds weird, but more good, but not better, if if uh, mm-hmm. that makes sense, because he doesn't really new, bring a new dimension to what they do. Um, and then mm-hmm. the team that I'm watching for is Los Angeles, the Kings, because if they're dead set on going into the playoffs with their goaltending being Phoenix Copley and Jonathan Quick, who's really struggled this season, uh, the, the Kings are of no interest to, to me, but... There are a couple goalies out there that I think would be major upgrades uh, for them. And if they just get, you know, even slightly above average goaltending in the West, which is wide open, uh, especially if if you avoid Colorado in those first two rounds, which Los Angeles would likely do, you know, goalie can make a huge difference for Los Angeles. So if you start to see some Mm -hmm. smoke around maybe like Simeon Varlamov to Los Angeles or Eunice Corposalo, I mean, there's some some rumors about even you Saros from from the Predators. Um, I would actually buy Los Angeles. quickly because I think that a goalie really makes a difference there.